All right, guys, we're back at it. We uh, got some stuff mocked up yesterday on the, the winch plate, the drag for it. So it helps the cable spool in. So we got the plate put in. <clears throat> and here's our spring in here. It's going to slide up into this tube. Okay. The pivot on this guy. So everything's fully adjustable, so I can move everything. Uh, I can also adjust it from underneath. And if I have to, I can put some spacers in here. Um, so yeah, everything moves and functions. Um, I do have to wait till I get the new cable on, because there'll be a lot more cable than this on here. Um, so for now we're just going to do a steel cable, um, because that's the most cost effective right now. Uh, when we get the chance we will uh, switch to a synthetic, um, but there's quite a bit of cost difference in them. Um, but for now we'll do steel, so but how it will work is as it spools in, it's spring-loaded. So it'll go up and down. I still have to weld on, I'll weld on a piece of round rod right here um, to give it a nicer transition to go in. So, well, that's what we got for now. So I'm going to start taking this apart and then I'll weld everything together. Everything's just tacked together right now. But, uh, well, yeah, so that's what we've got next. Uh, as soon as we get that done, we've got to finish one last roller for here. And then we can start taking things back apart and get some paint on it um, and start putting the underlift on and the stiff legs get that put together run some hydraulic lines and we should be good to go all right guys so there's only four bolts that hold this thing on so it just sits up here over the springs <clears throat> It works pretty, pretty slick. Uh, you can pull two big pins. Trying to make everything easily removable, not too complicated. But it just comes off like so. And we'll finish welding these tabs and everything. Um, these are pretty easy. It's just got three bolts holding those together. And then this just slides off. So we're gonna finish disassembling everything, but Trying to keep everything as simple as possible. Um, so we've always gone with the philosophy of KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna get this thing taken apart and we'll start welding it together.
All right, guys, so we're done with this piece here. I'm going to put some primer on it, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to put it back on the truck. I do need to go get some longer bolts um, and some shorter bolts for this guy. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right, guys, it's been a long few days between weather and kids sports and everything else. But we did get the underlift mounted. Um, so it's all up under there. I had to make some specialty spacers in here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're right, right in here. <coughs> and we got them all bolted. So this holds the underlift and the and through the bracket and then this holds the bracket plate to this plate so everything's kind of double connected um, we need to run our hydraulic lines um, and they gotta go through here we've got these little spacers they're just kind of tacked on but they've got all the bolts in them and all tightened down that was fun trying to do by myself um, so I had to get into some of my old heavy equipment tools and bust out the old one inch drive just so we can get it all tight um, I couldn't get any impacts in there it's too tight of a spot but uh but we got her taken care of. Now we're building our trailer hitch uh, on the back of the underlift because I will want to tow some trailers. So I got this pre cut out. Um, so this is one inch thick. Got my hole for the ball. I've got all my bevels so I can weld everything in. There'll be another plate up on this ridge line and another one on the bottom. And then we'll have another piece that comes down to kind of connect all this in. Because I'm sure I'll have some pretty hefty weights. Um, this truck's really easy to get into the rock pit um, with the dump trailer. So I can haul some gravel. So... Um, we want to make sure that this hitch is strong enough to hold the dump trailer and all the gravel in it. So, but, uh, we're going to change battery because it's about ready to die. And start welding this thing on. So, and then all the other pieces I need to start painting. And get the winch back up here. Uh, we'll probably put actually the stiff legs in first and then put the winch on put all the parts and pieces together and then go down to the hydraulic shop get the last few hydraulic lines and control valve and then we should be ready to rock and roll so all right i'm gonna go do a battery
Alright guys, so we got the hitch plate kind of primered. Um, there's just a few spots I want to re-weld. Uh, my ball came in last night. Uh, it's a 2 and 5 sixteenths, rated at 30,000 pounds. It's all heat treated. Um, so yeah. And, you know, if we don't need the ball in there, we'll pull it out. And I can stick a a bow shackle in there and tug on it a little bit if I need to. So we've got options. So today we're going to be working on the the feet or the extensions on the underlift. So so these are just old school hooks that somebody welded in there. I don't like them. Um, I don't even know what they're rated at. So, and they're two different sizes. So we're going to leave these guys right here. They're, they're three eighths actual weld on hooks. So we're gonna cut these ones off, clean this up, and then uh, weld these guys on. So. fun so I'm gonna get the uh, grinding pads and the discs and get all these cleaned up all right guys so we got the extensions all welded so they're a little bit beefier than those other deals that were on there so yeah both sides done so now we're just going to put some primer on them, let them dry, and then put everything back together. Uh, this is going to be it for today. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and comment if you have questions. And uh catch you guys next time. Later.